Thank you for watching this Dear Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover document and email template editing in Dear Inventory. Dear uses Microsoft Word templates for documents as well as emails. Therefore, with some basic Word and Mail merge skills, you should be able to transform existing templates to appear in any way that your business desires. You can find the document and email templates by navigating to the Settings module and selecting Documents and Email Templates. The templates are organized under five main areas. Purchase, Sale, Inventory, POS, and Production. You can easily add a new template by selecting the blank template which appears in each of the sections, but you can also edit an existing template by selecting that template from the list. When you select a template, you are given the option to download the Word template to be able to edit it on your computer, as well as reset the template to the original. You will then need to select the relevant template type, which will determine which information is populated and where the template is being used. You can give the template a unique name. For example, if you have variations of a purchase or sales order which go out to different contacts, you will be able to name those templates accordingly and can easily find them from the drop down list. Also, you have the option to browse and upload a previously saved template document on your computer as well as previously saved email templates. Let's take a look at how it works by downloading an existing template. The template will open in Microsoft Word. It will display the structure of the template including the tables and mail merge fields which will be used to populate this document when it's generated. Let's look at the structure of a template. You'll find that every template will begin with the table start and end with a table merge field. These mail merge fields determine a section of Dear Inventory where the information to populate this template will be sourced from. You'll need to make sure you preserve this structure. If the structure is not maintained, your template will not work. You can find all the various mail merge fields that belong to the particular section within the list of available mail merge fields. Here you'll find support resources containing all the mail merge fields available to be extracted out of Dear Inventory. You are also provided with the context on what each of the mail merge fields is designed to populate. So here we have a purchase process and there are all the various fields that are available for the purchase. These are the various tables which can be generated within the purchase section and here we have a purchase order, additional cost, stock receive, product labels, invoice lines, essentially every single field which can be extracted out of Dear Inventory for the purchase module. Now back to our template. As mentioned, a template must be contained within table start and table end tags. This defines which table the mail merge fields data will be pulled from. Tables that have multiple lines generated in them, for example purchase order line, sales order line or additional charges, will have table start and table end tags within the table itself, and these relate to specific tables where the information has been sourced from. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. Again. If this structure is not preserved in the table, the table will not display information correctly. If you want to change or add any of the information for the supplier, for example if we wanted to add a supplier fax number to the purchase order, we would need to copy an existing field. Then paste it back in. Here we can right click on the field and select Toggle Field Codes. This will show the contents of the field enabling us to change it. We can then return to the list of available mail merge fields and in the purchase table we would need to find supplier's fax and copy the supplier's fax field. Returning to the document, we can then replace the supplier's email with the supplier fax. Then right click and update the field. This will update the contents of the field and reflect the changes in the field name. We have another option for displaying mail merge fields for Windows users. You can press Alt F9, which will display all mail merge fields available in the document. For Mac users, these buttons are Option F9. Let's also take a look at how changes can be made within the table. By pressing Alt F9, we can reveal all the mail merge fields. Then, to make a change within the table, for example, we want to get rid of a particular column. We then select the column and delete it. To reflect that change in the mail merge field, we'll then press Alt F9 again, right click on the field and update it. This will then process our changes and the column will be deleted. 
Note that when deleting a column or making any changes to tables, make sure that you always press Alt F9 before making any changes. For example, if I delete this price column, then select update the field, the price column will simply come back. This is because Mal merge fields simply display the table. It doesn't allow any changes to be made to the table. The same works in reverse when adding columns. Press Alt F9 to reveal the table, then insert a new column. For example, if I want to populate the supplier's item name, then I need to copy an existing field, and then paste in the field in the table, which will be used to populate the information in this table. Then, return to the list of available mail merge fields, find the needed table, and copy the supplier item name field. Return to the template, and then replace the copied field with my supplier item name field. Press Alt F9 to hide the field, and then update it. To insert your company logo into the template, you can either use the Word Insert Pictures function, or you can simply copy and paste the image into the template. Once you've inserted the image, you can change the position and size as you need. When you finish editing the template, you'll need to save it and return to the Document and Email Templates area. Select the template you wish to replace, name it, then browse your computer for your template. Insert it, and save. This template will now be ready to use in the relevant module. You can configure who receives a purchase, sale, or inventory email by default. Select the document to configure email recipients, then under Configure Email Recipients, you'll see several options. These specify who this document will be sent to by default. Note that you can always email the document to different recipients manually when emailing the document. You can configure your documents to send the emails to the following recipients. All active users, all company contacts, mailing lists that can be created in the automation module, BCC addressees, as well as send to the supplier. In sales documents, send to the customer and send to sales rep are also available. After you've chosen the recipients, save your changes to finish. Note that non-default templates can be deleted by selecting Delete. D, however, will prevent you from deleting default templates. Note that none of the documents provided by Deer have email templates. When emailing a document by default, the body and the subject are left blank. To customize and template your emails, start by adding an email subject line. This can include merge fields found within the tooltip. Then, you're able to upload a simple Word document containing the text for the body of the email. Or, alternatively, you can also use merge fields in the same way as the document template within your email. Being sure to follow all the standard rules regarding table starts and ends. Once uploaded, your email will now be pre-filled with a custom subject and body each time. And that concludes this video on document and email templates.